My name is Joseph Nianguayso. I am a first year biomedical pre-med at Wasser University. My career goal would to become a surgeon, specifically an oncologist. Cancer to me is just so fascinating in a sense that it's just so uncontrolled and you know, resecting that from somebody's body, improving their quality of life, them knowing that they can live up to see future days um, would be just amazing. Don't just be the good doctor, be the great doctor. Be the one that's gonna go above and beyond for your patients. So that was so inspiring for me. So yes, my career goal would to become a surgical oncologist. So why do I wanna join CFHs? I would love to join CFHs to get that foundation, to build the foundation of a lab environment, to understand how to use certain tools and to understand how to read articles in a way that helps me understand and comprehend I also would love to join CFA just to collaborate with others, to network, to meet new people, um, learn what they have in store, and maybe apply it to my life, and maybe I can teach others what I have and my skills, and they can apply that to their lives. And all together, this is just an experience where everybody can just grow, and I think taking this course would help me grow as you know, a future scientist, a future doctor, as a person as well, networking, communicating, uh, building those skills that are necessary for the world. Okay, so my strengths and weaknesses. I'll start first with my weaknesses. I think my weaknesses would be being perfectionist, I guess. Um, I hate when, you know, I have a goal and I come below it or I come shy of it. That just, I think that drives me more, which can also relate to my strength. But I think when things don't go uh, a person's way, I think they get frustrated. I think that's me. Uh, when things don't go my way, I do get frustrated. And so I believe that's one of my weaknesses, but I also think that one of my strengths is that I get my motivation from my weaknesses so I can build that up and I make tweaks from my weaknesses and I change something here and I change something there and together I, you know, I build that up and that kind of relates to one of the questions later on that I can just jump into, which would be question number six, my difficulties in Bio 111, I think um, not knowing how to study for Bio 111 Taking my study habits from high school didn't really work for the college environment, for the college setting. So I found myself struggling on tests for a little bit, even though I, th I thought I know all the information, even though I thought I was studying hard. Um, but now that I've taken that weakness here and taken that weakness there, I put it and I, I change it and I study in a way now for Bio 111 um, that is becoming more effective and I can see a positive trend on my grades that, that it's working, that I'm understanding the content more, I'm understanding the structure and function of certain parts of biology that I, that makes sense now to me. And I think that it's all piecing together. And, you know, I got over this little hump of, you know, not doing so hot in the class, but I think I'm not worried personally. And I believe that, you know, we all go through our struggles and that was my struggle. And now that I'm fine tuning everything in, I think, I'm gonna set myself up on a straight line for success. My strengths, I would definitely say I am a leader or an outgoing person, uh, just an extrovert. I think that's my strength is uh, just being outgoing, um, asking questions, talking, communicating, getting involved. I think that's my biggest strength. I'm motivated. I, I really want to you know, succeed and I wanna do it. And uh, being a people person, networking, uh, meeting new people, collaborating, and solving problems together, not even solving problems together, but just working together as a team, I think that's my biggest strength is also teamwork. Um, so just working as a team, being a leader in a team, being a people person, I think that's my biggest strength. So how would my strengths and weaknesses affect me in c phages? Um, first of all, my strengths. I'm a very people person, like I said before, I'm outgoing, a, a leader. I think, you know, using those traits I could definitely collaborate and work with people well, communicate with them. You know, if one's having an issue, I could help them out if I know, if I can help them. And if I can't, you know, we'll work, we'll work together. We'll try to find a solution to a, an issue, uh, or not even an issue, but anything. We, we'll try to find a solution. And so that's, I think that's my strength for the class. My weakness, I would say, would be, you know, getting frustrated easily if something's not going my way. I know that, you know, when something doesn't go our way, we get frustrated, we get a little, 
irked a little bit, but I think using that energy, using that frustration and, you know, converting it into motivation to help build you up and help solve those problems, I think that's also a strength. All right, so this next topic is very, very interesting to me. Uh, if I had $1 million to donate towards research, what disease would I want to study and why? You know, I've thought about this question so many times. There's so many different diseases that, you know, we want to cure, the world wants to cure, I want to cure, shoot. Um, and I think one of those would be, the top one on my list would be cancer cell research. Scientists are researching daily, as I speak right now, they're researching a cause. They're researching how does cancer spread? How does it metastasize? And then they're researching how can we cure this cancer? I think finding, the, having that money spread across cancer, cancer cell research, would be spread across those three questions, those three statements of researching how is cancer caused? What are, are there external factors? Are there internal factors? You know, there's both. Um, researching that more, try to prevent cancer from happening, try to like at least put a barrier in between that. And then how does cancer metastasize? How does it spread across the body? Um, so many different, different answers to that. Um, researching that would be interesting as well. And then finding a cure. There are so many different therapies. There's one, you know, we have chemotherapy have radiation um, that goes into chemotherapy as well um, and there's gene therapy that's coming up um, that's very interesting as well I know we've been doing a lot of genes in the lab that in bio 111 lab so uh, gene therapy gene research on cancer that's also very interesting so having that one million dollars in cancer cell research that covers all of those statements that covers those three statements of how is it caused how does it spread and how it is it cured? How can we cure this thing? We've been trying for decades now to cure cancer. Finding, using that money to contribute to those statements, that'd be very interesting. That's something that I would do. So this next question, what strategies do I employ when I experience setbacks or when I feel frustrated or confused? Um, I know when I feel frustrated, I like to you know, take a breath, um, say, hey, there's a lot of things I cannot control and there's a lot of things I can control. Let me not try to control the things I can't. Um, take a step back and just breathe, um, or talk to others, see what they've they've done. If they've experienced this issue before, or if they've experienced a setback, um, what did you do to accomplish that? I'd ask a peer that question. And if they don't have an answers, then I'll ask uh, Professor Diaz that question. Um, if I'm feeling confused, you know, I'll take a step back as well but I'll just sit down, I'll gather my thoughts, and maybe I'll even get a piece of paper and I'll write down some ideas. Uh, I'll write down what my what I'm doing, my method, um, what I'm doing, and then see, is there something wrong within this method? And I do a little trial and error. I think that's what I do. I know, uh, I don't know if trial and error can be used in C pages, you know, can't be wasting supplies or et cetera. I don't, I don't know, but that's something that I'm gonna find out, hopefully, if I'm enjoying C pages, but, uh, I'd like to, you know, take a step back, look at what I'm doing, see if there's something wrong, and then troubles troubleshoot that issue, and then move along, try to find a solution. I think that's what I would do. I'd take a step back, collect myself, and then I evaluate what I'm doing and move on from there. So to sum up on my application, my video application, I'd just like to say, hey, I'm very motivated. I am outgoing. I'm a people person. I'm very interested also in research and understanding research learning more about it because it's gonna be part of my career my future career and I'd love to incorporate it in my future career so getting the foundation now will definitely help me on later later so I'd love to be part of C pages and thank you